a bit disturbed by the same opposition party which when they win MP elections they admit and celebrate that the process is fair and when they lose uh, the presidential then they start accusing the whole process. We cannot allow Nelson Chamisa to keep on holding Zimbabwe at ransom. Now that the elections are gone and investment is waiting at our borders, we start hearing the bickering again from Nelson Chamisa. It is now known and factual that it's not him but the people behind him who are pushing their agenda, which is known to the whole nation and the whole world. And uh, Nelson Chamisa uh, has actually said it before the election that if he loses, he's not going to accept uh, the results. But we've got a lot of prominent names that lost the results and are uh, uh, considered defeat. Myself, I am actually one of the contestants uh, from Seke. Uh, even though we may feel there was something that happened, but uh, we have to allow the nation to move on. Uh, we cannot hold uh, the nation at ransom just to uh, please our personal interest and our handlers' interest. Scott Sakupanya in Mabuku, he has spent lots of uh, money, but he has considered to allow the nation to move forward. So the same, uh, Chamisa should have the nation at heart and allow and endorse the results, allow the much-awaited uh, investors to come in and allow the smooth running of the nation. If he's got queries, President Emerson Damuzomnangagwa is on record to say his doors are open, he can come and he discuss whatever he needs to discuss with President Emerson Damuzomnangagwa. They cannot keep on crying about the electoral reforms. They've been in parliament for how many years and are not uh, pushing that agenda uh, with the uh, the vigor that they portray. When they get into parliament, their MPs who only start uh, uh, talking about their allowances and